Hi everyone, so finally your wait is over for India's one of the most prestigious and rewarded scholarship exam that's Akash National Talent Hunt Examination. And we are here in front of you with the Solutions of Anthe 2019 which was conducted on 20th October. And I will be taking up the physics of all the papers. Right now we are going to start up with the discussion of class 8th and for our discussions we will be taking up code 8a. Now without wasting much time let's first jump into the very first question of this particular code. I have this question here on the board this says a force can. We are given these four options. These three options talks about the effects that a force can produce. So let's read the options. This says a force can make an object to move from rest. Yes, we know a force can move an object or a stationary object. Second option says change the speed of an object if it is moving. Yes, if we apply the force on a moving object, its speed gets altered due to the applied force. Third option says change in the shape of an object. Yes, a force can also change the shape of the object. So all the three options are correct regarding the effects that a force can produce. So it means a force can do all these things and hence which option is going to be the correct option? That is option 4. So the correct answer for this question is option 4. Let's quickly move on to the next question for the discussion. So here I have the second question which says a stone is being dropped from the top of a tower. The direction of a fluid friction acting on the stone is when the stone will be dropped from the tower. What is the force that will be acting on the stone? That is going to be the air resistance. The weight is bringing the object in the downward direction or bringing the stone in the downward direction and as it is moving through air it will experience air resistance which is fluid friction. Now air resistance is going to act in the opposite direction to the direction of motion of the stone. Stone is moving in the downward direction. So it will be acting in the upward direction. So let's read the question. The first option says vertically upward which is the correct option. So I can straightforward mark this option to be my correct option. So answer for this question is option number one. Let's move on to the discussion for the next question. Hey, so here I have this third question which says if there is no friction between the tires of automobiles and the road, then option one says automobiles can be started or stopped but cannot turned. Second option says automobiles can be started or stopped or turned. The third option says automobiles can't be started or stopped or turned. The fourth option says automobiles can't be started but can be turned. We know friction is required to move the object and to stop the object as well. Even to change the direction there is going to be the requirement of the friction. So it means without friction automobiles can't be started or stopped or turned. So which option is the correct option? That is option 3. Let me just put this into the box also. Now let's move on to the discussion for the next question.